After posting several photos of uh, Benner Cummings in the San Clemente Ole Hansen pool earlier, I remembered I also had some old 8mm home movies of the San Clemente High School swim team competing in one of Benner Cummings' motivational events, uh, a 12-hour long relay in conjunction with the White House Council on Physical Fitness. According to a Sun Post article written about the relay my mom had saved in a scrapbook from Malcolm and I, we completed uh, 31 and a quarter miles in the 12 hours starting at 8 p.m. Saturday night and ending Sunday morning at 8 a.m. Uh, the article names the following team members, uh, Mark McCartan, Tim Springer, Mark and Jeff Mauerman, Duncan and Malcolm Wilson, Steve Diamond, Dave Vick, Joel Hartman, Tim Mathis, Mark Littlepage, Wayne Burris, Pat Lineback, Dana King, Rick Talcott, David Atkinson, Scott Bruce, Jim Bessie, and Murphy Rowe. Even after all these years of watching this, I still recognize almost everyone in the video, in large part by their strokes, the style. Everyone had a very unique stroke. The construction of the Ole Hansen uh, Beach Club and Pool was completed in 1928 which was the same year our city was incorporated and remained pretty much unchanged uh, when we worked out in it during the 60s and all the way up until 1971. The pool at Ole Hansen Beach Club, believe it or not, was considered one of the finest and most equipped freshwater swimming pools in California at the time. In 1932, the Olympic tryouts or trials were held there for swimming and diving and included legends such as Duke Kahanamoku, Johnny Weismuller, and Buster Crab, the last two playing Tarzan in Hollywood in 1932 and 33, respectively. As a matter of fact, my mom actually got swimming lessons from Buster Crab in the early 30s. All three of these legends were heroes of mine as a kid growing up as a competitive swimmer each having won Olympic gold medals in swimming, Duke and Johnny in the 100 meter freestyle, with uh, Weismuller being the first to break one minute flat in the 100 free in 1922. They used to jokingly say it took Tarzan to beat Duke Kahanamoku. Breaking that 60 second barrier became an overriding goal of mine from an early age. My brother and I were extremely fortunate to actually meet Duke up at the Huntington Beach uh, U.S. Open in 1967. We were there for a junior lifeguard competition that took place about the same time. Good times for sure. Aloha.